So today I'm going to show you how to add figures to your LaTeX document that aren't in the same directory as whatever, wherever your LaTeX document is. So just for an example here, um, I have a folder where the um, LaTeX document that I'm writing is this LaTeX test.tex. Tech. Um, and then I have two images here. So there's Raspberry Pi.jpg, and then in the figures folder, there's BBB, BB black dot JPEG, black, Beagle, Beagle blown black. So um, essentially, a lot of people like to do this. They have a separate figures folder where they store all their images, makes things pretty easy. But you'll see, so I just have this include graphics line right here. So I want to include this image in my LaTeX document. And so I'll hit run, and you'll see it builds just fine. Um, and that's because that image is right here. It's in the same folder as my LaTeX document. But if I wanted to instead include the BeagleBone Black, so it would be bbblack.jpg. If I try and run this, it will give me an error. So there's a few simple ways to include it, but I'm gonna show you how to make, like abstract away the figures thing so you can just type it in like this. Um, but I'm gonna show you the couple other ways to do it first. So the first way to do it is you can add the extension of the folder onto it. So um, I'm gonna add a dot forward slash and figures and then slash. So that's because the dot slash says look in the current directory. So it's this directory. So I could have just done dot slash Raspberry Pi and I would have been able to find it. And then saying look inside the figures folder. So this folder for that image. And you'll see now if I run it, it compiled fine and it was able to find that image. The other method would be that you can put in the full path. So if you're having some problems, um, you can add like dot dot to go back a directory and stuff like that, but it can get a little confusing. You can do an absolute path as well. So if I click right click on the actual file, so I'll go to here, right click on it, go to properties. Um, then this is the absolute path. So you can right click on that and say copy. And then you can paste that in in front of your image. Um, but the big issue with this is LaTeX always expects forward slashes, where on Windows, it will give it by default as backslashes. So you'd have to go through and change each of these into forward slashes. But you'll see when they're forward slashes, I can also compile it, and it builds fine. Um, also, if you have any spaces in your path, so if this was instead like LaTeX space doc, um, then you would need to make sure that you have quotations around it in that case. So obviously it's pretty annoying to do this. So if you store all of your images in just one folder in like a figures folder, then we can make it so you can just type in just the BB black and go with that. So to do that, you'll just need to make sure that you have the graphics package, use package graphics, um, and I'll add that in the description so you can copy and paste it. But then you need to add backslash graphics path and then opening closing brackets, and then a second set inside, and you can even add multiple for multiple paths. So um, I'm just gonna add the, what I had earlier, the dot slash figures, and you need to add that trailing forward slash as well. And essentially what it's gonna do is just add that to the back, or it's gonna search um, using this um, on the back of any of these images, and as long as it can find it in that directory, then it will build it. So I'll do a quick build again here, and you'll see now it compiled fine, even though I just typed in the BBB black down here. And that's because I included this up here. And that also um, works with the absolute directories. So you'll see with this, it also compiles just fine, no errors. Um, it, you can also add multiple directories to search, but this comes with the slight issue. You do not wanna have a different image with the same name in multiple directories, because then it will not know which one to put in the document. I think it will go on a first come first serve. So if it finds it here, then it will ignore finding it later. So um, just make sure if you're searching multiple directories that you don't have the same name for multiple images, it'll just get weird from there. So um, with this, you can set up images in multiple directories and have them all be able to uh, go into your document using the same format that you've always used, as long as you add them all to the path up here. And again, if your directory path has a space, make sure to add quotations around. So that's the easiest way to add images from multiple directories into LaTeX.